So uh, welcome. Hello, Pastor Sean. How are you? Hey, Nazareth, I'm good now. It's so good to see you, to hear from you, and all of your audience. I'm glad to be with you. Uh, question. What do you do? Uh, okay, people don't understand what a chaplain does in a football. Let's say, okay, so the team comes in. It's game time, game day, Sunday morning or Monday night. What is your job at that point? What do you do? How do you how well, how do you get start the day there? Thanks, Nazareth. That's a great question. Let me just say it is multifaceted, and the reason why we have chaplains in the National Football League, as you know, most of our games, over 2,000 of them every season, happen on Sunday mornings. Now, you get Monday night games and Sunday night games, but the majority is on, mon on Sunday mornings. And these athletes, these young, very talented, gifted men, are not able to attend the church of their choice because during football season, which is five months, <laughs> they're playing. I, I, this is... Uh, uh, their mode of, uh, of livelihood, and that's on Sunday. So the NFL allows to have chaplains on the team, and what happens is we provide church, which we call chapel, to uh -huh. all the athletes who are there. Every team has got 53 players. Not every player is a Christ follower or even a God seeker. So we as chaplains come in, and we try to bridge the gap, build friendship, we try to build friendship where Jesus Christ can cross. And mm -hmm. uh, it's a great, I mean, you'll have uh, sometimes Jewish, you have mu Muslims, you will have other faiths, uh, you have Catholics, and you have uh, uh, born again Christ followers, evangelical Christians. And so we try to provide 28 minutes of an experience where folks feel like, oh my gosh, it's good to be here. They put down God's playbook, the Bible, and they pick up, uh, and they pick up God's playbook, and they put down their team playbook, and we just focus on the things of God and build a sense of family. Before it's, each it's, game, before each game on Sunday morning, you do oh, church. Absolutely, each game. When you, uh, um, when I was doing it, you, I, you travel with the team, so uh, uh, you're you're gone for the weekend, and what happens is. You have on Saturday night, probably about 7.30 is when we have chapel. And then by, and by 8 p.m., chapel is over and all the players, all the coaches, everyone meet in a big conference room. And that's when the head coach breaks down what they've been preparing for all week. They talk about what it's going to take to beat their opponent on Sunday, but they don't start that until we first meet with God on Saturday night. But do you, do you, pastor, do you tell them after you do the chapel and pray, go kill that team, destroy them? <laughs> do you oh, pray no. that, the, the, that the Raiders would lose and all that? Do you do that? <laughs> Not my guys. I tell them, fellas, fellas, we need to thank the Lord for the privilege of using our God-given gifts to his glory. And yeah. win or lose, we want to pray that both teams are free of injury. Both teams performed in the best of the God-given ability. And so our guys, at, actually, when they go out for pregame, they've got the black under their eyes, their shoulder pads. They've got their cleats on, and we call it pray up. After they're out for the pregame, we go back into the showers, whether we're at home or away, of where the team is. Of course, the showers are off. We hold hands, and, man, I tell you, we start banging on heaven's door. We start praying, God, that you'll bless us. Lord, allow us to perform and honor you. And so that's why, at, and then after we're done with our prayer, we go back out, file into the, the locker room where if there's any players who are not praying, all of us gather. That's where the head coach comes. We turn off the lights and we recite the Lord's Prayer. And our Amen. Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. And Naz, I got to say this. You'll never hear a faster, more committed prayer than a bunch of pro athletes eight minutes before kickoff because their adrenaline is running so fast, yeah. they burn through that prayer. But I got to tell you something. These guys would never tell me that they're praying for victories, but I have no doubt that under their breath, they're saying, God, we've got to kill them. God, help us win in Jesus' name. <laughs>